Anthony, what do you think of uh, the design of, of this thing? Gotta wear my glasses just to make sure <laughs> I can see it clearly. Professional Marvel artists react to everything. So I called on some real Marvel artists for help. He is known as the visual father of Baby Groot and costumes for the Dormelage. He is Marvel senior visual development artist Anthony Francisco. The second has designed characters like Ant-Man, Hela, Captain Marvel, and he is Marvel Studios' Director of Visual Development. He is Andy Park. And our special guest. If you like my work, if you like ZHC's work, this is the man we were both highly influenced from. With an over 25-year career in comic books, he's drawn some of the greatest Marvel titles in the world, including Moon Knight, X-Men, and The Avengers. He is my hero. He is David Finch. Professional Marvel artists react to everything. You guys have painted traditionally? I did a couple of comic covers, a few, yeah. with acrylic mostly. Yes, I remember. And I love it, but I'm so bad at it. I like acrylic because you can just keep going over and over and over right. until uh, eventually, yeah. you know, you quit or it works. Dave, Dave's, you're a monster. Like, one of your first paintings you did, was it an Ascension cover? That was like one of your first paintings you've ever done, right? Yeah, I, I remember wow, Nathan Cabrera, he was in the studio and he had to do the background for me because I couldn't figure out how to do it. Oh, really? I did the figure. Uh, you're being so very, amazing. you're being very humble because I remember <laughs> yeah. seeing that and hearing that that was your first painting, and I, I got very angry at you. <laughs> yeah, I think you're <laughs> well, we have two of the the, the most uh, famous concept er, costume designers in the world here, and I thought, why don't we, what, wouldn't it be fun to look at some older uh, comp? Well, like we're all from comics. We've seen comics before. We remember the '90s. Why don't we take a look at some of the old designs that they used to do in the comic books back then? Uh, veteran uh, comic artist and Dave. Remember, probably remembers all of these uh, fun designs from back in the day. I still love them too. Yeah, I still oh, love them yeah. too. Well, well, Everyone let's, loves let's, them. Why don't we yeah. take a look at them and we'll, we'll, we'll see what you Oh my gosh. Okay, take it back. <laughs> 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 Wait, what is this? I've never seen this before. You haven't seen this one? I've never this seen this. This is famous. No. This is super famous, this one here. <laughs> wow. That wow. is ultra, ultra 90s. Yeah. I've never seen this yeah. before. Have you seen this, Dave? No, it's crazy. No, no you that haven't is, seen this. Yeah. I, I think this wow. was back in the day where, where armor was just a thing. They put armor on everybody. So, okay, well, we start with, the, with Anthony. Anthony, what do you think of uh, the design of this thing? <laughs> Gotta wear my glasses just to make sure <laughs> I can see it clearly. I don't know. Um, David? So, Anthony, if, if an art director came to you and said, this is what we want, but we want you to just make a few little tweaks. Yeah, yeah. How would you, how would you tweak it? How would you tweak it? <laughs> just a few. Just don't change too much. Render what you see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint it in acrylic, so it takes so long. <laughs> Uh, no, but this this one's pretty cool. I don't know if it's before my time. I don't know what year. I started in 94. Right. So right. It might be just a little bit. I mean, I was still, I was looking at comics, so I don't know how I missed it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like I broke into comics yeah. and never saw them before. But yeah, I missed I this one. Like you know, I, I thought I saw everything when it yeah. comes to the 90s, because that's when I was like hardcore into like collecting comics and all the image guys. And 90s is known for over the top, you know, designs, mm -hmm. which is and it's really like fun. Um, it might not be functional or practical, but that wasn't the point. That's not the point of comics, you know? The point is not realism. And this definitely describes that. <laughs> 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 it's, a, it's ar It feels like it's armor, armor upon armor. You know, like he puts on a suit, suit of armor, like, and then he puts another one on top of it, and then he puts on three more armor, arm shoulder <laughs> pads. So it's it's like over the top. It's but it's exciting and fun. But wow. How about you, James? Oh, what do I think? Do uh, okay, let's go to the next one. There. <laughs> <laughs> it was around the time. That image was coming out at the time. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, it's April '95. Right? Yeah, right. Was it '95? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It was around 95. that time, so they were trying to like extreme up to compete, I guess. But I, um, to be honest, when I first saw this, I thought it was pretty cool. I, I remember back in the day seeing this in the comic book store. I, I thought it was pretty cool. All right, oh, you yes. remember this? Yeah. You remember this? Oh yes, it's awesome. Yes, yeah. yes. yes. <laughs> you know, for me, the only one who could draw this correctly was Joe Quesada. Yeah, this only, is his design. He was the only artist. Yeah, it was his design. This is his right? design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he was the only one who could actually pull 
pull off the actual uh, drawing of it. I actually really loved the design when I first saw it. Oh, I like it a lot. That's I think if if I remember right, if you're talking about Joe Casada's image was the one. Uh, he was like crouched a little bit, like on the edge of like a statue or something. But uh, but yeah, no, I like this a lot. It's cool. I... This, really, just before I got into comics, I was a huge Joe Quesada fan, and I loved everything he did. I loved all the little pouches. It doesn't matter what you can fit in those little pockets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's such a great design. I love it. This is the kind of '90s design that you know I'm still fond of, and I never got a chance to draw him still. Mm -hmm. So maybe one day. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, the, oh, yeah. sorry, just to, just as a preamble, the thing with Thor is that he had several '90s costumes in the '90s. Oh, yeah. So uh, I'll toggle between like two that I found. But... And, and and the uh, you know of course we have to show the abs. You know that's the best part. <laughs> I know. <laughs> part oh. short <laughs> He's like his underwear is armored. Yeah, that's yeah. I don't think I've seen that before. Armored underwear. Under armor. Yeah, yeah I think it's. Awesome 90s greatness, because look at all that skin he's showing. I don't think we've, <laughs> don't think we've ever seen so much skin. Um, I don't know what that is in the front, because that, in order to achieve that, that's got to be a tattoo, right? That can't be, well, this is comic, so it could be cloth. That's very 90s with the big shoulder pads, the leg straps that you don't know what they do. There's not yeah, enough pouches in this one. And then, of course, the crop top, like that's Thor abs. Imagine Chris Hemsworth wearing this. People would go crazy. I like it, actually. I, I, I like this. Uh, the only thing I would probably kind of reconsider is uh, just, you know, the, the under armor. Underwear armor, I mean, but everything else, I love the hair, the shoulder, you know, that could be translated well, I think, in a live action. Can, can I ask you, Dave, do you think that for this particular image here, do you think the feet placement, do you think that was intentional? Uh, <laughs> see, what you do, because I do this, you draw the figure until you get to the feet, and then that's where the rocks go. Okay, that's where the rocks go. <laughs> <laughs> Very 90s. <laughs> do, you, do you remember any of these uh, designs? Back in the no, day? I can't believe how much I missed. Yeah, right. <laughs> you were busy stuff, drawing. <laughs> yeah, you did. That one, I Easy like. Art. This one, I, it's very metallic. But I remember in the 90s, I loved all the, you know, I, I was a big Cyberforce fan, you know? That was oh, yeah, Cyberforce. Like, and it, everything was all metal. I thought that stuff looked so great. So, Dave, Dave, I know, I know why you don't. Re we don't remember this, or you don't remember this, because back in the '90s, around this time, we were all image. So we were looking at Todd and Mark Silvestri and J. Scott Campbell and you know and Jim Lee and mm -hmm. Rob and everything. I think all our focus was at image. I think right during yeah, that no, time. No, it's true. Yeah, the Mighty Auto one. It's cool, but you would have to tell me that it was Thor. Right. To be mm -hmm. honest, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's the one thing about it is. Okay. Yes. Remember this. You guys seen that one before? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's an interesting motif, I guess, the, the little armor pieces on the side of his leg. But of course, like the comic book, like Andy's saying, comic books a little different, you know, make them stand out from the page. But if I was to design this for like, uh, you know, Marvel live action stuff, I'm going to tone down the red, maybe make it more of a blue overall and just some red in certain areas. In terms of making it into a, a Marvel Cinematic Universe character, uh, there's certain things I would change. I'm more of the original Daredevil guy. I love like Born Again and I love like when, when Frank Miller was writing it, so I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, the yeah. 90s were really, ex you know, extreme. They just add armor bits to everybody, you know. Just, I, I think that was the image influence, you know. Oh. They, they said they have to mm -hmm. kind of try to change them with the characters with the time uh, to try to compete, try to uh, compete for that attention. I do remember this. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. Um, like Anthony said, I think I'm really partial to his classic design, more the, more the red one than the yellow one. And for me, even though I, I love the 90s designs, um, I think I was more partial to the 90s, like when Jim Lee redesigned or did his take on like X-Men. Oh, yeah or when Todd McFarlane did his take on Spider-Man and gave it a new spin with the big eyes and spaghetti webbing and you know crazy yeah. anatomy and everything. And then, you know, Rob doing his, you know, his craziness on X-Force and New Mutants, all that stuff. I think the stuff, I think the stuff you're kind of showing us now is, I think after Image was formed. Mm -hmm. So um, it's kind of like, it seems like, it seems like a response to Image. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's, it's, it's pretty cool, but I, I, I am more partial to like the classic designs. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I, I think 
the original stuff the the image guys were doing was all from them and it was really creative and it was different and it was pretty wild at the time and then you know once you get to a point where like at a corporate level you're trying to achieve that look you end up with stuff that's a little weird to be honest though i love this design because i remember this when it came out and i love the artwork so i think i kind of you know that influences me a lot too and i know if yeah. this is a video game that came out right now i would want mm. this and i would play it all the time <laughs> Steve armor, <laughs> Steve armor. <laughs> i don't remember this one <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, I had to draw this before you did Are you right? oh, yeah, yeah. I did a thing for a wizard magazine and they had all the different Spider-Man costumes and they're all like standing for like a class photo and I drew that. Because I, I know artists already don't like drawing the webbing because it's, it's just so, it takes, it takes so much time. But this one is every webbing with a shine inside every little square. It's like, yeah. wow, it's a, it's a lot of work. Wow. Not for James, you know, okay. James is like, Psh. <laughs> not a, there's detail. not enough lines there's there. no detail in here he needs, he needs more lines more lines <laughs> the background is so detailed too no what james would do is each of those squares he'd reflect what it's showing like every character yeah. that every villain that he's fighting would be reflected in each square that's very true that's very true it's an armored it's what well said on the other one is an armored spider so this came maybe this close to being the armored spider-man in uh yeah. in endgame yeah. or in infinity yeah. war like, yeah. oh my <laughs> i wonder andy should we let them know i know <laughs> just yeah. kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding ah oh, 2099 series, 2099 series. hey what is that thing like right that on his belt going down what what are what is that? Those three pieces? Maybe that's his uh, gun holder. The teeth. Yeah, be the teeth. <laughs> you can put the guns. Turns, turns his hips. Do they disconnect? And <laughs> I know. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> when Marvel uh, or DC or any of these guys they ask you to create a character, uh, do they compensate you for that, or they just say come up with this and then they just pay you re your regular page rate? Like, what was that like uh, for you guys? Like, like for me personally, like I, I created like a couple characters for Wonder Woman, but they never. They never really paid before. They just said, oh, can you design a guy with this? And we're gonna put him in this issue. And, and that was it. Okay, well, I drew Maria Hill for the first time. Oh. oh. And does that, does that count as co-creator? Because you're the first one to depict her. That's right. I'm the first one to draw her. So I'm gonna call it, even though in the script, I mean, really, you know, she's yeah. got dark hair and she's wearing a shield outfit, which was already established. Or yeah. whatever, I drew her first, so. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought that's how it works in comics. Like, the, yeah. if you're the first one to draw them, you are creating them because there's no visual. Yeah. You don't, mm -hmm. Right. That is part of the creation. Yeah, I don't, I mean, it's not much of a creation just from a, because really all the pieces were there. I didn't have to create anything. Yeah. And I've created some other ones or, you know, co-created. Uh, nothing big though. I remember when I when I drew Wonder Woman, uh, they, they gave me this character design. I think it's called the, uh, uh, in Greek mythology, I, I, I don't know how to pronounce, it's like Briarios or something like that. And they told, the description they gave me was, uh, he has a hundred arms and 50 heads or something like that. Whoa. Right? So <laughs> I, I, I designed this character that had like, so he had like one main head and he had like all these little heads on top of that. So that heads <laughs> like his hair. hair. And, then, and then on his arms, so he had like four arms and then he had all these little arms that were coming <laughs> out of that arm, right? So, so first of all, my anchor hated me. Secondly, J.G. Uh, Jones, he was uh, doing the uh, he was doing the cover he was doing the covers. So they asked me, can you uh, send the uh, can you send the design to J.G. Jones so he's gonna draw? Oh, there you had it up already. Oh my god! Oh, you had it up already. There you go. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Yeah. He had it ready to go. Yeah. I had no idea he, was gonna, he had that ready to go. But he, Jeez. He was, yeah. But uh, oh, I said, man. I sent it to J.G. Cool. Jones and. Uh, and uh, he said, I'm not drawing this. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I understand that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny though. Oh, well, I remember well, you know, this. You know, this is Reign of the, Reign of the Superman. Back yeah, after the Superman died, right? Yeah. 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 And, and, uh, all the Superman come out. Right? Man, mm -hmm. I was like, I didn't have enough money to buy all the first issues of all these characters. <laughs> like, yeah, how am I going to buy all this stuff? I, I remember when the Death of Superman comic came out and it was all over the news 
And there, I remember this one lady, she had she had a copy in her hand. She's like, this is going to pay for my kid's college tuition. She, uh, was, like, she was like, I don't, I don't think that worked uh, out for her. <laughs> That's what my uncle said to me, too. Nope. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, like he bought, like, how many copies? Oh, by the way, by the way, speaking, speaking of Superman, you know, uh, uh, DC had a real problem the way I drew Superman at the time. So, so in that Wonder oh. Woman issue... Uh, I had the uh, I had Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman versus uh, the Justice League. That was part of it, right? So I was actually very excited to draw it. But they kept telling me to uh, they kept telling me to uh, redraw Superman's face because you know Superman has that iconic look, and I just yeah. wasn't getting it. Uh, Mark, you don't have this, right? I'm not just making sure. Don't 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 show them. Don't show them this, please. <laughs> <laughs> don't show them this. Please show it. This, 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 this <laughs> but the thing was, I I thought we finally got it, and they said it was okay. I won't I won't mention who the editor was or anything. When the book came out, they got another artist to redraw oh. the face. So all the Superman faces, they were redrawn by somebody else. They were wow. redrawn by somebody else. They wow. never told me they were going to do it. They never told me they were going to do that. I was like, oh. That hurts. That, that hurts. hurts, man. Yeah. <laughs> that hurts. That like, I wasn't mad because I was mad at myself for not being able to get it. Yeah. So oh. I, I had another opportunity later on. I drew a, a couple issues of Birds of Prey. And mm -hmm. uh, I had one shot with Superman. I was so nervous. But that one shot of Superman, they could redraw the face, and I sent that in. Yeah. And uh, and they approved it right away. Like, oh, ah, awesome. Yes. Nice. It's validation. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> I, know, I know Andy did a, a Superman cover. You, you are right. <laughs> I actually did two. Yeah, did that two my right career. Now. I did two co two Superman That's covers awesome. in my career. Well, Dave, Dave's yeah. done a lot of Superman. I know, I know. Dave's done oh, tons, yeah. and tons and tons oh, of Superman. Oh, I just saw Dave's, yeah. Dave's, done Dave's, done Dave's, done <laughs> Dave's done everything. He's done everything. He's done everything. Was there any, like, did DC ever come back to you with any sort of comments about looks for certain characters whenever you were drawing it? I got some of that at Marvel, actually, early on. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. really? The first time I drew Wolverine uh, for oh. X-Men, um, I had him in a, like a trucker's cap and they wanted him in a, uh, a dad hat. Just kidding. Oh, uh, cow, cow, cowboy, cowboy hat. Cowboy hat. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So signature. I, I drew my Spider-Man too beefy and I had to fix it. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, and so like things like that, you know, yeah. the one yeah. thing I thought I might not get away with though. And I still, I don't know how I get away with it without people laughing at me, but, uh, I draw a Superman with veins that you can see through his clothes. Oh, I'm still in there. I know it's but yeah. <laughs> really got away with it. That's awesome. Awesome. Has it... Yeah. That's cool. No, it's cool. No, it's, it's cool. cool. It's yeah. cool. That that's that signature comic books like nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's one of the first movies I worked on. Bubble Boy. Yeah. yeah. I designed the bubble. You designed uh, the bubble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well for the special effects company, you know, we were doing different um ways of uh, making the bubble. Maybe he made it out of his uh, shower curtains. You know, his mom kept him home the whole time, but he wanted to go out. But without the bubble, he was too scared of, you know, going out. So he made his own type of bubble, <laughs> so. <laughs> but then in the end, the director just wanted like a circle and legs and hands coming out. Well, like, after the bubble like, boy, your career went downhill. <laughs> 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 no, Andy, my, my, my career went down when I uh, did the, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with guns. Oh. That's really, really? <laughs> that went viral, but not the good kind. Just, just keep it to Bubble Boy. Let's not talk about. <laughs> hey, it's, it, it is kind of related to Mysterio, right? He's yeah. Like a, in the yeah, bubbles, yeah, Mysterio. True. And now the bubbles just on his head. Yeah, yeah. That's, right. that's right. A little cooler though, in Spider-Man. <laughs> a little cooler. Right. This yeah. is Magic Gathering, yes. Yeah, yeah, oh, really old stuff. <laughs> it's all digital. I tried traditional and it took me too long. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah, and it's e it was easier to turn out, you know, two a day and two faster. A day. But if it was traditional, I think that would take like two weeks. <laughs> Absolutely. And it was a special time having you guys here with us uh, in this episode. Like I said, before we end off today, I uh, wanted to tell everyone uh, where we could find you uh, online if people wanted to follow your work. Oh, everyone. Um, you can find me uh, my Instagram on uh, Anthony uh, underscore this is underscore art. So my wife is telling me, "Come on, hurry up, get it going." No, okay, hold on a second. Sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> so, I got yeah, or, or my YouTube channel, um, Anthony Francisco Art. Search for that. Yeah, you can find me online um, at Andy Park Art. So you can. I have a YouTube channel. I have Instagram, Twitter. Facebook, my website, everything is Andy Park Art. So, <laughs> my Instagram is 
at D Finch Artist. My YouTube is gibberish. Okay, I will have a link uh, to his yeah, YouTube but, channel but yeah, down I've got a YouTube below. Channel. So thank you everyone for watching. Of course, you can follow me on all social media at Box Office Artist. Make sure you, sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, share this with all your friends. And my name is James. I am the Box Office Artist. I'm here to say keep drawing. I'll see you all next time. Okay, bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.